Okay, let's see what it means to calculate corresponding parts of similar triangles. Hmm. Okay, let's give it a try, step by step. A similarity statement, the point of the corresponding to each of the two triangles. Okay, so GZR, G, nope, capital, GZR is congruent to AWM. GZR, AWM, all right. Use the diagram to determine the length of WM. Okay, select a segment to enter the corresponding triangles, okay? So, GZ in GZR corresponds to AW. In triangle AWM. Okay, select WM to enter its measure. The length of GR is 8. The length of ZR is 5. The length of AM is 40. Enter the similarity statement. Okay, so now what I'm seeing here is you see this 8 to 40, it's 5 times, okay? So 5 times 5 is going to be 20, okay? Solver, solver, all we need the solver will be started for you at this time, okay? Enter an expression to rewrite, okay? Enter an expression to rewrite or enter an equation to solve. So can we go 8 to 40 equals 8 to 40 equals 5 x Multiply both sides by what? X. Okay, so HJD, 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 WQL, WQL. Okay, this to this. And this to this, okay? So five, five to one. You see a five to one, five to one ratio, divide by five, okay? Use the diagram to find WQ. Two, it's gonna be 10 
divided by 5. Hmm. And there are the similar triangles L, X, L, E, X, L, E. I don't see it here, so I'm just going to go X, L, E, X, H, M. L, X, L, X. 37 to 15.3. 37, 15.3. So let's go that way. Let's go that way, make it easier. So 15.43 over 37 equals, fractionize it, x over. 44.25. Okay, now we're going to take this times this divided by that. Okay. Eighteen point four. That's our answer. Oh, there it is. Eighteen. Eighteen point four five three four. U Z U Z See it's a factor of five this times five this times five twenty five Okay. All right, we'll get the unit five now. Awesome.